coming on Al Jazeera. Uh, you were in the thick of the protest back in 2009, but these feel very different. What's your sense of why now? Well, the main difference between the protests that we see now and 2009 is that in 2009, the protests started with a clear objective. People voted for Mir Hossein Musavi, who was a pro-reform candidate, a government candidate, but a pro-reform candidate. And then the government, uh, the Supreme Leader and the Revolutionary Guards rigged the elections and Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was elected. So people came to the streets in 2009 and asked for the recount of their votes. The clear message in 2009 was, where is my vote? This this set of uh, protests, which started on Thursday, started with uh, uh, economic demand. People were objecting to the government's economic policies, but then spread out. It is, it is maybe smaller. These protests might be smaller than the ones in 2009, but they are more widespread. And the other thing is that there is no clear objective that what people want. But we know what people do not want. People do not want this government. People do not want the Islamic Republic. In 2009, we never heard the slogan, death to the dictator, meaning Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, the supreme leader of Iran. These days, we see that the protesters bring down his posters, they rip apart his posters, and they chant death to Khamenei and death to the dictator. And Mazia, of course, you ended up being locked up. And we're just hearing that at least 200 people in Tehran on Saturday night have been locked up. And um, yeah. we're also, I know you've written and about this, but there, has, but there were some demonstrations, there have been demonstrations in Mashhad. I mean, how much courage are these people taking to go out on the streets when they're facing what could be quite a brutal crackdown? It is a very courageous act to go out and uh, protest in Iran. But people are desperate. And desperate times require desperate measures. People are using any available space to protest. And the government cannot block available spaces, all available spaces. So they try to intimidate people in uh, different cities, in major cities, in Tehran, Isfahan, Tabriz. But then we see that people, they come out and protest in smaller cities where we never heard of protests, even during the 1979 revolution, we never had protests like this uh, during, uh, before the 19, February 1979 revolution. And the Iranian president, President uh, Rouhani, is expected to speak in about 25 minutes' time in a, in a pre-recorded message to the nation. What could he say to calm things down? And indeed, will he try and calm things down? He will definitely try to calm things down. He will try to be conciliatory as much as possible. But people know what he will say. People know that he will say that the, he understands people's economic problems, but people have to be patient, people have to work with the government, and he will condemn the violence, and he will call the people who have resorted to violence seditious and terrorists and foreign agents and, foreign, and agents of Zionism, etc. Many thanks for joining us, Mazia Bahari, yeah. speaking to us uh, from just outside of London. And, of course, we'll be bringing you that pre-recorded speech from the president just as soon as it happens. Rebel